Yo, what's going on? It's Next Gen Mastiff. We're back again with another video. I just want to shout out all my subscribers and all my followers and everyone that engages with my videos. Um, the channels grew quicker than I expected. Um, so yeah, just a quick announcement. I'm going to start a new series on the channel. I'm going to start doing a lot more of these vlog videos where I talk about various different topics in the dog life. You might not like all the topics I'm going to talk about but I'm just going to keep it as real as possible because over here at Next Gen Mastiff we're going to keep this dog life stuff real as possible like I say not everybody's going to like all the topics or all my content but that's fine I'm not here to please everybody uh, just a big shout out to everyone that's subscribed and watches my video and engages with my content uh, so this is the first topic um, and that's going to be egos in the dog life, dog world, whatever you want to call it. Big egos. Now what do I mean by big egos? Um, you probably look through your social media, Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube, whatever you use or even real life and you always got that set of people who telling other people what to do with their dogs or what's acceptable and what's not acceptable with their dogs you know you know them people who always are be like oh you shouldn't do this with your dog or you shouldn't do that with your dog and more time a lot of the times these people they don't own dogs or they own dogs that's completely different to your dog I get it you may love dogs that's cool but that don't give you no right to be telling other people what's acceptable or what's not acceptable with their own dog. Um, now this video is not for people who go to ask other people for opinion. You know, if you're stuck or you need advice or something and you ask somebody else who's got experience or whatever, that's not what this video is about, that's fine. You know, you ask that person so it's cool. Um, this this video is about the people that, like I say, they got no clue, or they think they know everything about your dog or dogs in general. Now, the reason why that's a problem is because if you understand dogs, you'll understand that there's within dogs there's breeds, temperaments, personalities. Now, every dog was created. For a purpose every dog was bred for a purpose you know you've got working dogs you got toy dogs you got all different type of dogs as to breeds and temperaments and everything so now you might own a labrador or a pug or something how can you tell somebody who owns a caucasian shepherd what's acceptable or what's not acceptable with their dog you know these are different dogs different breeds, different characteristics, you know. Um, I think people should just stay in their lane and respect the purpose of why that breed was created, you know. Respect the breed. Every breed was created for a purpose. So whether you like it or not, what that person is doing with their dog, not all dogs are the same, you know. So learn to respect the breeds. Stop trying to dictate how other people should look after their dogs. Now, 
why does this annoy me? It annoys me because these dogs are being cared for by their owner day in, day out. They have a different life compared to you, different requirements, a different background from you. So what's acceptable for you and your dog doesn't mean it's going to apply to somebody else. We need to stay in our lanes and understand that everybody has a different background and different requirement for their dogs. You know, I can't go around and tell people um, what they should be doing with their poodle or golden retriever. You know, no disrespect to these breeds, but I don't know. That's not my expertise. I don't know about them dogs too well. You know, I deal with Mastiffs, so somebody came to me and asked me for advice with Mastiffs. I can tell them based off experience. That's cool. Um, but the thing is, we find people telling other people what to do when they don't even have a clue with these breeds. Um, things like muzzles, ear crops, all these type of things that you may not like, it's not your dog, you know? Um, whether you like it or not, it's not your dog, so you need to respect the owner of that, of that dog and respect their decisions as to why they do certain things with their dog, you know? Whatever the reason is, whatever, they might have a muzzle on their dog and I see a lot of people ganging up, trying to talk all this nonsense about why you got a muzzle on and all this stuff, the dog shouldn't have a muzzle. Listen, it's not your dog at the end of the day. There's a reason, there's a number of reasons as to why a dog might need a muzzle. You know, same thing with like prong collars. You know, I see so many people getting so much shit for putting a prong collar on their dog. Somebody might feel comfortable to put a prong collar on their dog or a muzzle on their dog when they're walking. You know, that's not your dog at the end of the day. So you've got no right to kind of tell people what they should and shouldn't do with their dog. Um, like I say, just because you love dogs, it doesn't mean you have a right. It's not your dog. That person lives a complete different life to you. Yeah, so just respect it. Some people might need an aggressive dog. Some people might need a friendly dog. Me personally, I've got no problem. As long as that owner has done what they need to do to be responsible and have their dog under control. Um, so that's, that's the message that I'm trying to put out here today. Um, like I say, this is the first, first episode in this series. Um, yeah, if you've got any suggestions of any other topics that you want me to talk about, message me on Instagram, Facebook, or even comment on the video below. And big up all my subscribers who are subscribed to the channel. We've got a lot more content coming out. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Get up. Get up.